Okay, let's talk about having the right answer but the wrong work in mathematics. And I'm going to use this uh, algebra equation here as an example. But uh, this is something that uh, was reinforced to me as a young student. And as a teacher, I stress this as well, but a lot of students still don't, um, you know, maybe grasp, fully grasp why, you know, your approach to doing math is is critical, okay? And your teacher is uh, going to likely keep you on the straight and narrow path so you do math the correct way, all right? It's not just about getting the right answer, all right? Of course, it's, yes, we want to get the right answer, obviously, right? But your work is critical, okay, to that. And if you have the wrong work and the right answer, uh, generally speaking, uh, most math teachers are going to not consider this problem or a problem in mathematics to, to be done correctly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about this the, uh, this particular um, concept or point, and I'll use this equation here as an example. But we'll get into that in a second. But first, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I constructed what I like to believe is one of the most powerful uh, online math help programs there is. It's all video-based. I have full, complete, comprehensive lessons. Uh, so whether you need to uh, take a math course or you need help in your current math course, uh, my math help program uh, can help you. Okay, it's I have a ton of courses, uh, but the one thing that I really take pride in is there's nothing more frustrating for a student to uh, be given a bunch of prompts and just the answer key. Okay, not knowing how those prompts were solved, just having the answer and be like, well, great, I have an answer, but I don't know how it was solved. But in my program, I had literally solved thousands of uh, problems, all video based, step by step. So. Really, um, I think, unique in terms of the programs that are out there. But uh, also, as a teacher, I just can't help to emphasize the importance of note-taking. So it really, the rule of thumb is those students who take the best math notes generally have the best math grades, and the reverse is true. So if you're not taking great math notes, you need to start do, doing so immediately. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So luckily, I actually offer very detailed, comprehensive math notes. I'm going to leave a link to those in the description of this video. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. Okay, so let's get into this right answer, wrong work concept. And again, these are things, um, what I'm emphasizing to you um, are things that as a math teacher, I've just, you know, over the years and you know, I'm, this is all from experience, okay? So I'm not wasting your time by, you, by making this point. If you really understand or grasp uh, and learn what I'm talking about, you are going to be doing yourself a big favor. All right, so here's our equation that I had up there. So, of course, you can see that I've already solved it, but let's just kind of walk through the work here, okay? So let's say this was problem, whoops, let's say this was problem number, I don't know, number seven on a test. OK, so here's the um, problem. And now let's say I'm grading your work. All right. So I have my trusty little pen out and I'm looking at your work. And this is, of course, my work. But I can say, all right, let's uh, see what's going on here. I have negative two times this. So let's see. Did this person uh, use a distributive property correctly? So negative two times four X, negative eight X, negative two times this positive one. That's correct. I have my 10 X here. So this negative I'm going to distribute to these terms negative 5x, and then a negative times a negative is positive 3. Okay, so I like that. That looks good. So now I'm going to what? I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to combine these two. So 10x and negative 8x is 2x. Looks good. I have my minus 2 here, and I have negative 5x plus 3. All right, so far so good. Oh, okay, what's the student doing now? They're going to move the 2 to the other side by adding 2 to both sides of the equation. Okay. So I like that. I see what's going on. All right, so here I'm just following. I'm kind of just reading the story. Remember, math is a language, and I'm seeing what's going on. So I have 2x. Okay, they added this correctly. Yes, this looks good. So I like this up to here. And now, oh, I see the student is adding 5x to both sides of the equation to get all the variable terms to the left-hand side. And let's see here when they do that. I get 2x plus 5x equals 7x, okay, let me move this down. This is uh, 7x 
This is 5. That's good. And then just divide both sides of the equation by 7. So that is the answer. Very good. I give them a smiley face, a lot of little stars, and, uh, you know, I give them 10 out of 10. Really make them feel good. Hey, great job. Perfect. So you got the right answer, right answer, and the right work. Okay. So I'm going to get back into um, this concept, but let's just look at what uh, is not a good situation. Okay. Something that you don't want to see as a math teacher. So let's go back. This is our problem number seven. And our uh, student is flying through here and be like, okay, here we go. Um, here's my work for it. All right. So I'm like, okay, negative eight X, right? This time this, they did that correct. Looking good. Well, this looks good. This looks good. I'm happy with that. Then I'm like, yeah, where's the story? I got the answer. Okay. I know this is the answer, right? Right answer because I got my answer key, but I'm like trying to figure out what they did right here from here to here. I'm like, okay. Now as a math teacher, I can see kind of what they're doing, but I'm like, all right, what's going on here? I have negative eight X, 10 X. That's two X. Oh, they also moved this five X over at the same time. And then they did this two, they wrote this two over here. So over, you know, they did like three steps in one. Okay. And I'm actually being quite generous <laughs> in this example because uh, a lot of students won't even do it this neatly. Okay. So what I'm getting at is I'm like, where's the work? Where's the support? Where's the story? It's like, you know, here is a story of of you know, once upon a time, it was this, 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 and this, and the end. <laughs> you know, that it would be like, well, where's the rest of the story? Where's the where's the supporting work? Okay. I know where, you know, as a math teacher, I I know I'm in my brain, yes, I can see how you went from here to here. But the problem is uh, if you're doing three or four steps in once, okay, this is a common, very common uh, problem with a lot of uh, students. They, they, for whatever reason, I, well, I do have uh, a sense of the reasons. One, uh, for students not writing all the work out, they get effectively a little lazy, okay? Another word for that is they want to rush the problem. Uh, sometimes they want to save paper, okay? They don't want to write out, you know, they're, they're in a rush. And uh, lastly, I, I think that the, the main point I'm trying to make in this video is they think that uh, they don't have to. Right? They're, in other words, it's not uh, necessary, okay? Not necessary to do so, okay? They're like, well, no, I mean, as long as I get the right answer, okay, what's the point? I got the right answer. So, you know, why are you giving me you know, a problem about this? All right? Like, hey, this is the way I do it, you know? So, you, you know, as long as I get the right answer, you should accept it as well. That's not how math teachers think. This is not the way to learn mathematics, okay? Math is you're really learning a process, okay? You're learning the concepts. You're reinforcing the, the steps, the multiple steps that need to occur. And this problem here is pretty um, easy, pretty tame in terms of the amount of steps you need to take. But as you learn more sophisticated math, you can have problems that take you a couple pages of work to do step by step by step. And there's no way a teacher is going to be able to follow along to see what you know and don't know. Okay. There's just so many reasons not to even accept this. So you would get a right answer, wrong, wrong uh, work. Okay. You'd get something like that. And oftentimes a teacher will take points off. I know I would, I would give you like, maybe, you know, like here, if this is, if this question was worth 10 points, I might give you like, say seven out of 10, make a uh, note on it because, you know, you might think to yourself, well, did this person, you know, sneak over and look at someone else's answer? How do I really know they understand? Okay. So, you know, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are in a mathematics class. You need to be thinking, you have to show, demonstrate to your teacher, you know what's going on. And the only way, you know, you can convince your teacher that you understand the process so they can give you full credit, okay, for that answer is to demonstrate the right work. And the right work is showing all the steps. That's why it's critical to be neat, structured, um, and to show all, all the, uh, the steps that your teacher 
is um, showing you. Okay. Now, where did when you know how does the teacher show you how to how to do a problem correctly? Okay, like something like this. Where is that occurring? Well, if you're taking notes, if you got a good math teacher, which I'm hoping most of you out there do, you know, your teacher's demonstrating that in class, in their lessons. Hey, this is how you do this problem, da, 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 da. All right, so you should try to emulate your teacher, right? I'm pretty sure your teacher wouldn't just show you, hey, skip these steps and here's the answer. You know, that teacher wouldn't be um, lasting too long in the classroom, okay? So the great teachers know, hey, listen, step by step by step, you need to try to copy your teacher in your work. So it's just not about a get getting the right answer. Yes, of course, you want to be focusing on that as the main objective, but you also need to have the correct approach. And this is um, why note-taking is so critical, right? Note-taking, you're, in for, um, you're creating those habits of neatness, structure, right? Showing all the steps. It's a discipline, okay? So, you know, math is a language and it's a discipline, okay? That's really... Uh, what it comes down to. So if you're going to do, if you're going to, you know, uh, you know, take on a math class, if you're whatever math class, you're in, do it right. That's just the basic rule of thumb in life is, hey, if you got to do something, always try to do it the best you can. But the great news is this with, uh, you know, listening to someone like myself that can show you like uh, they give you advice, you know, being like a mentor if you will, and that's what I try to do with these uh, videos that I make, uh, these YouTube videos, is give you advice. You know, hopefully you say, okay, maybe he knows what he's talking about. He's been doing this for a long, long time. Hey, listen, there's a lot of things I can't do, but one thing I can do pretty well is teach math and understand how students learn math, okay? All right, so I think I've kind of made that point enough, and if you got something out of this video, right, and hopefully you did, please consider smashing that like button. That would be um, you know, I would certainly like that and appreciate that. Also, if you're new to my YouTube channel and you think you like my teaching style, I already have hundreds of videos organized in various playlists on my channel and I'm posting new stuff all the time. Um, so hopefully you'll uh, uh, consider becoming a subscriber. But if you know, if you need math help and you really want to learn from me, my best resources can be found in the description of this video. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.